सो वी वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू आवर मंथली चेतना फेस्टिवल वी आर होल्डिंग दिस फेस्टिवल सिंस ईयर 2003 एंड सिंस देन मेनी मेनी गर्ल्स आर कमिंग रेगुलरली एंड दिस प्रोग्राम इज हेल्ड फॉर यूजली यंग गर्ल्स वॉज बिटवीन एज ऑफ फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी and some uh, three months back uh, we had taken some of the girls who are more interested who are following uh, more uh, regularly we had taken them to our uh, govardhan eco village so one girl i met there she was no more a girl then <laughs> she had come first time in 2003 and then uh, now when we met her after uh, 13 or 12 years she was already a mother of a child she was married mother of the child but that uh, first program she attended of chetna changed her life and uh, she joined started practicing krishna consciousness uh, very seriously on regular basis in her life so like her uh, like her all of uh, you girls who must be from age starting from 15 years you all are ultimately potential homemakers potential mothers uh, potential professionals so i thought that uh, there are a lot of challenges waiting for you in life <laughs> so let us uh, little bit discuss about this topic which we can which uh, practically can help uh, all of us at every stage of our life so initially when the girl would get married in india 50 around 50 years back if we see ओनली वन क्वेश्चन ऑज आस खाना बनाने को आता है क्या हाँ खाना बनाने को आता है मतलब कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं है नो नो अदर प्रॉब्लम यू डोंट नो एनी थिंग एज इवन यू यू नॉट स्टडीड एनी थिंग यू कान साइन योर ओन नेम इट्स फाइन इफ यू नो कुकिंग परफेक्ट बट नाउ डेज गर्ल्स विल वॉट विल से खाना बनाने के सिवा और सब कुछ आता है हाँ सो लाइक दैट द बिकॉज अवर एरा हैज चेंज वो फिफ्टी ईयर्स सो मच वेस्टर्नाइजेशन हैज टेकन प्लेस इन इंडिया so much modernization girls are getting very very high education they have become uh, professionals they are holding uh, very very high positions in big companies as a ceo uh, they are ceo of the banks they are doctors lawyers in politics they have become ministers uh, females so they have excelled in every field but along with the professional role when they go home they have to play a role of mother a role of daughter role of wife so every woman i would say that she is a multitasker hmm? she is a multitasker and when you want to you have to do uh, you have don't have much choice then because if you are career oriented then you have to balance everything and uh, somehow you have to make it through so when uh, that woman or that girl is exposed to such situation she is put in such situation she undergoes lot of actually lot of stress and she needs to really balance her work her house if there is proper balance then she can live peacefully happy like that so this balance is very very important in our life hmm everything has to be in balance what every time we will say ke kuch bhi karte ho don't do too much don't do too much uh, or uh, don't do too less so just like i uh, thought of example of our planetary system we in our uh, planetary solar system there is sun and the nine planets right and each planet is at certain distance from the sun for thousands and millions of years if we count if they count like uh, in for terms of light years correct so ha huh. जिसको भी हिंदी में ट्रांसलेशन सुनना है पीछे प्रभुपाद के राइट साइड पे माता जी हिंदी ट्रांसलेशन कर रही है तो अगर आपको इंग्लिश समझने में ज़्यादा कंफर्टेबल नहीं हो तो आप जाके हिंदी में ट्रांसलेशन सुन सकते हो अपना पीछे जाके सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सोलर सिस्टम सो अवर सन हैज सोलर सिस्टम एंड इट हैज दिस नाइन प्लानट्स at least we know of these nine planets in our uh, solar system and they are revolving in the orbit for millions of millions of years and out of that now science has made so much advancement we are trying to go our neighboring planets and uh, 
trying to find out more details about those planets and how we can get benefits from those planets but the earth planet if we go to see we studied in our uh, school in science book that earth planet is a round planet it is having a axis and it is rotating around its axis and it is also rotating in a orbit around the sun and for hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years earth planet is doing doing this huh? that's why we are having a day we are having night and because it is uh, revolving in the orbit we are having one year of 365 days so earth is maintaining perfect balance suppose earth goes little bit more close to sun what will happen the temperature on the uh, our planet will go up so much it will burn to ashes everything and it will suppose it will goes little 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 farther then what will happen the temperature will reduce so much out of freezing cold the living entities the species will die on the planet so like that too much uh, balancing is very very much required too much now suppose uh, tomorrow earth planet uh, things that abhi bahut hi ghum liya ha thousands of years let me take some rest abhi mood nahi hai thoda thak gayi hu ha let me take some rest or she uh, things that uh, abhi the acha mood hai abhi thoda fast kar leti hu kaam khatam kar deti hu ha like that so i remember my student life at least in college when i passed ssc i got i really worked hard in ssc and then when 11th standard came everybody told me just relax now no more studies don't study relax don't study at all and i also used to feel what is the need mood nahi hai abhi hmm? because 12th exam is going to come that time i will study and then again 12th exam too much studies so for a uh, perfect student if i want to become perfect student i have to balance everything i have to balance my recreation i have to balance my studies so uh this way and this balance is required at every stage in our life whether uh, i am a career woman or i am a mother huh, or i am a daughter i am taking care of my old parents everywhere this balance is required so those, what is this balance we are we are talking of and what are the components that we are looking for in this uh, balance so i just was thinking and i jot, uh, jotted out three points and in this balance three points i have found it very very important on physical level on mental level and on emotional level balance is required hmm? on physical level uh, our physical fitness is very important because if my body is not in uh, physical fit condition then my mind will even though my mind is very strong very active cannot do cannot give output my body cannot give output so my body has to be fit and uh, to remain physically fit three things are required my body has to uh, do regular physical activities it has to be nourished by good food huh and it has to do everything eating sleeping everything in regulation isn't it hmm? too much eating too much sleeping no it will not help you so like uh, last month 26 june hmm anybody can say what is the day 20 what was the day 26 june it was announced by our honorary prime minister as international yoga day right right ha huh? because he is very concerned about the youth of india the at present the our uh, very unique situation in india is that 60 to 65% present situation in india 60 to 65% of our
so i was calling westernization what will happen the husband will have to feed the wife she will not feed the husband <laughs> so every woman is stressed out because she is multitasking this is our solar system all the orbits are moving or all the planets are moving in perfect orbit for millions of years so these are the three levels of balance we are going to discuss today physical physical uh, level mental level and emotional level so in physical body fitness is very important your food in uh, equally important regulation is important so our prime minister narendra modi said 65% of our india's population at present is in 30s means our india is consisting of young people now and they should give good attention to their health otherwise if they give good attention to their health then it can help our country to grow much 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 better way so these are the benefits of exercise there are 20 benefits there are uh, they are very interesting to know it reduces your body fat increases life span oxygenates the body strengthens the muscles manages chronic pain uh, reduces your diabetes risk strengthens the heart clears arteries boosts your mood maintains your mobility improves your memory improves your coordination strengthens your bone improves your complexion detoxifies your body ha huh? so many 20 benefits are described and they all are true so exercise some form of exercise everybody should uh, make it a part of the day everyone at least not every day then alternate day we should do some form of exercise either uh, yoga or jogging or other kinds of physical exercises then comes food so nowadays this is the most favorite food right all the kinds of outlets of uh, multinational companies they have come in india we like to go to malls and their kfc is there and mcdonalds is there and different different mexican and chinese and everything is there but uh, what is the nutrition it's giving you zero in fact it is harming your body huh? you are going to have that cold drink it is having very very high content of sugar which is not good for your body you are going to have this french fries or fried food fried food it is having the most undesired fat the fat which is not desired by your body and it is going to after 10 years it is going to affect your heart like anything hmm? so what are the healthy foods this is called a diet, diet pyramid hmm? so in diet pyramid base is by you see every day we should drink water how much it says 8 to 12 glasses of water then base is formed by your food grain cereals which is having high content of fiber then your fruits then your vegetables hmm? and then little bit of then your proteins and uh, your little bit dry fruits you can have every day so our indian food if we say dal roti sabji chawal Hmm? so when it is we are eating that indian food traditional food it is having very very good nutrition nutritional value for our body hmm? so we should try to have a good nutrition of for our body so that our body can go on for longer time in healthy way now uh, the world uh, statistics says that india's population is very very prone to diabetes mellitus and because the lifestyle is go going more sedentary people are getting more uh, economically uh, much much better and they are eating this fast food so the indian population is very, very at very very high risk of diabetes and if they don't change their dietary habits then by after certain years india will have maximum people in the world in the country of india will have maximum people in the world having diabetes mellitus Hmm? so we have to be very very careful at the same time good sleep is very very important nowadays students they want to study in the night and everything but the statistics the research has described that if you are sleeping less number of hours in the night for certain initial uh, part of your youth then you are having you are making your uh, heart more prone to heart disease later on so it is inversely proportional 
adequate your amount of sleep you have you are having less risk of getting heart disease you don't have adequate sleep then it is going to stress your body and heart is going to pay the this thing then this is a mental balance physical uh, care is still uh, very easy to understand because if you all sick then you can diagnose the disease and you start the treatment but mentally it is more subtle and sometimes people cannot recognize that they are having some uh, mental issue uh, mental thing which they need to uh, pay attention to hmm? and what does uh, the world health organization say that greatest problem in 21st century will be not diabetes mellitus not uh, heart disease not cancer not hiv but mental stress and mental disorders this is their prediction and uh, india is not having very good statistics but uh, usa statistics say that 19 million adults in usa they suffer depression and of their economy 43.7 billion dollars per year are spent for the treatment such a huge load on the economy because people are having so much mental stress then the more very uh, uh, shocking is the 5 lakh adolescent every year they attempt suicide and now because in adolescent age uh, the problems have started so counseling has started in school itself okay so why this mental problem is so much hmm? because our mind is suffering from the disease just like body is having some cancer then it will eat away the nutrition from other part of the body so like mind if is having some disease it will eat away and it will not make you uh, function in the desired way so what are the three c's three cancers of the mind they say is compare complain and criticize these three things are very very harmful for us for our body and for us as a whole because this comparing mentality it is ingrained from, uh, in us from childhood parents say you got 43 out of 50 see your friend got 44 and half huh you are taught to compare right from the childhood hmm? right hmm? and then because then you feel just because you got one and half mark more or less you are much much uh, lesser than that person so this comparing mentality in ingrained in our uh, mind from right from childhood and very very difficult to um, take it out and just because we have this uh, comparing mentality when we come to schools we want to go for higher education this creates troubles for the students we once they pass ssc we see ssc last year i had seen ssc many students in the first week of their results committing suicides right last year as much as i remember this year kota in uh, rajasthan there is a town called kota and it is a hub for all the iit potential iit students hmm? they train the students for uh, entrance exam for iit and thousands i believe around 25000 students come to kota to get trained in those coaching classes so they can uh, uh, fare much much better in their exams hmm? so last month in first week of june there were seven suicides in those students okay so students are under, under tremendous stress just because they are taught to evaluate everything on your marks basis and very very student life two people two two kinds of people you'll get in college some people are always doing time pass sitting on katta huh? they are never having any tension hmm? they feel admission ho gaya hai abhi so to remove us from the college is their responsibility not my responsibility okay and the other uh, category of students is that they have studied everything and they feel they can't remember anything and they want to hide from others so that they do others don't uh, score more in the exam hmm? so they are under always stress so this is a reason this comparing mentality is basically even many things we compare apart from our education beauty we compare the adver whole advertisement uh, business industry is running because people are having comparing mentality hmm? they say use this shampoo you get this kind of hair 
ये तेल डालो घने बाल काले बाल हो जाएंगे हाँ देन यूज दिस लोशन यूज दिस क्रीम्स यूल नेवर बिकम ओल्ड नेवर लुक ओल्ड हाँ दे रियली एंड द मोस्ट सरप्राइजिंग थिंग इज एंड मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट पीपल बिकॉज दे आर बॉम्बार्डेड कॉन्स्टेंटली विद दो एडवर्टाइजमेंट अल्टीमेटली यू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग इट यस यस इट मस्ट बी ट्रू अनलेस यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग एंड इट डजन कॉज द सेम इफेक्ट ऑन यू देन सब बोगस है बट एवरी थिंग इज लाइक दैट ओनली सो अगेन कंपेरिंग इन दैट देन पीपल कंपेयर वेल्थ हाँ नाउ आई एम स्टेइंग इन टू बेडरूम हाउस बट माई फ्रेंड इज गॉट थ्री बेडरूम आई वॉन्ट थ्री बेडरूम ओनली हाँ लाइक दैट सो बट देर इज अ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ किंग एलेक्जेंडर हु वॉज किंग फ्रॉम ग्रीस एंड दे दिस पीपल यूरोपियन कंट्रीज दे हर्ड सो मच अबाउट इंडिया दैट इंडिया इज फुल ऑफ वेल्थ हाँ इंडिया इज हैविंग वेरी 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 नाइस स्पाइसिस दे केम फॉर टू थिंग्स टू इंडिया यूरोपियन किंग्स फॉर स्पाइसिस एंड फॉर वेल्थ so this alexander they came till india he came with his army and on the way he conquered many countries he came with his army and uh, he was about to enter uh, india there he was exposed to indian mosquito and one indian mosquito bit him and he got malaria and he got very very serious then he realized that now he will not live longer so he wanted to leave his body go back to his country and leave his body there so his travel was going on on the way he realized that he will not even reach his country because his condition is so bad so he called his ministers and he said that uh, i have three wishes to be you please fulfill i after i die first thing is that all my doctors who are taking care of me they should carry my coffin all four corners which should be occupied by doctors who are taking care of me second all the precious jewels i have uh, diamonds rubies emeralds huh? i have uh, uh, attained from uh, all these people from different countries so you just throw on the roads where they are taking uh, my body on the road means uska carpet bitha do on the way to the smashan then third thing keep my hands open i don't want you to keep it closed inside the bed sheet keep it open so it he wanted to give three messages to the people first is that doctors if god doesn't want doctor cannot save you they have their own limitation second is all the things you acquire in your life you work so hard Alexander in very very young age he left his country and he always lived in tents and everything he was having so much uh, opulence but he never lived in palace he lived in tents and he worked hard so much hard for this opulence jewels and uh, everything he got so much uh, suvarna mudra they would say gold coins and he was taking with him but he cannot take it with him when he leaves his body he has to keep everything here and go and third message was that my hands are when i came my hands were empty when i am going my hands are empty hmm? so this is uh, when we are comparing we have to give a lot of thought hmm? and overcome that uh, mentality then second is complaining mentality it is said that if you want if you want to pray for the rains be prepared for the mud because if rains will come mud will also come hmm? so once uh, one very thin lean fellow he went to church he started praying to god that uh, you please help me because people just make all the time fun of me i tried so much but i am not putting on weight and they just uh, make fun of me so voice he was able to hear one voice and that voice said that will you really do what i you promise that you will do what is uh, told to you he said okay i will promise and he had some degree of faith so the voice said every day you go to this mountain which is behind the uh, church and push the mountain for one year every day for 30 minutes but he had some faith and this voice was very celestial so he did every day but at the end of one year he came 
and he started praying what kind of thing it is is it humanly possible any person can push the mountain hmm? uh, plus i am thin and lean if i was bodybuilder is still uh, i would believe that you are trying to okay is justify it will justify little bit i am a thin lean fellow and you are telling me to do this so god said go and look at yourself in the mirror so because he was going every day he just blindly followed god's instruction with faith so because every day he was pushing the mountain god said i told you to push i never told you to move the mountain okay so he was pushing so his muscles built up then every day half an hour he did it that huh? and for in whole year means all three seasons he did that in winter in cold in rains so he body his body developed lot of immunity and he really started looking handsome so sometimes some uh, difficult situation come in life but there is always opportunity which we miss and uh, criticize is that they say that unless you put yourself in that person's shoes and walk a mile you should never criticize that person because you don't know what that other person uh, is in what kind of situation that person is facing hmm? so next is emotional balance mind is still okay this mentality but human being means emotions and especially females lot of emotions lot of lots and lots and lots of emotions our lacrimal glands are hypertrophied means they are bigger than the males okay so uh why because every living entity is looking for happiness every living entity is looking for love and this is a need of human being even in animals you see if a cat is ha uh, has uh, given birth to three four kittens she really protects she caress them she she uh, nicely take care of them feed them everything as as far as possible she will do everything for them so human is also same thing no we are looking for love in every relationship we are looking for reciprocation we are looking for love no and uh, if you get uh, hit by accident you fracture your leg it pains you but there is a treatment but if your heart is hit if your heart is broken that pain is tremendous because it is connected with your emotions that pain is so tremendous sometimes it carries with you for whole life hmm? so our uh, ex president api dr api abdul kalam he is a very very scholarly person written lot of books this is very nice statement i like that difficulties in your life do not come to destroy you but they come to help you to realize that your hidden potential and what is your hidden power hmm? so let the difficulties know that you too are difficult make difficult it difficult for the difficult make it difficult for the difficulty and uh, outside world they say ki to overcome all these problems you know all these mental problems positive thinking positive thinking positive thinking they say should always be optimistic and not pessimistic uh, narendra modi our prime minister when he first time he spoke in uh, parliament when he gave first speech in his parliament there was a glass in front of him so he said that people will say this glass is half filled and half empty but i don't say that he said i will say it is half filled with water and half filled with air okay so saying i am optimistic person and i always want to think positive and i want to make my uh, take my country forward but there is i would i feel when we take to krishna consciousness we realize that another dimension to uh, our balance is a spiritual dimension is also there hmm? there are so many holy scriptures all over the world available what this uh, people who give uh, seminars they take money from you they give seminars how to balance your life and in that most of the time they are focusing on developing your self confidence hmm? develop your self confidence they can you, then you can do any everything and anything hmm? but this our uh, vedic knowledge it tells us to understand what is this self in our uh, any any child goes to junior coach kg he is told to write first essay everyone all of us have written is my, myself right 
my name is this my name is my name is shama when i was small it was a shama then my father's name is this this is my house address huh this is my mother's name this is my brother's name hmm? so this is self but this identification does it remain constant then at the age of 22 i got married and i my surname changed my name changed right then another uh, thing came a doctor came in front of my uh, name hmm? so this name is it is not my identity what is that self that self our scriptures say that it is a spirit soul within you we have to connect with god as spirit soul ha huh? everyone should have a knowledge about spirit soul and unfortunately with our uh, modern education system we don't get this knowledge none of our colleges or schools they teach us about this dimension this aspect of understanding this aspect of knowledge and without that our knowledge is incomplete hmm? in uh, previous ages they would get academic education along with that they would get spiritual education at the same time so they are able to um, maintain their mind able to balance their mind much 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 better way so holy scriptures means not only i am talking about uh, hindu culture if you go to muslim culture then christian culture any book you quran you pick up if you pick up bible their philosophy basic philosophy is same that you are spirit soul and you have a connection with the god and try to reconnect yourself with the god ha huh? whether it is allah or whether jesus is the son of god almighty lord ha huh? or uh, uh, as a son of uh, as a servant of krishna they all the scriptures are telling us to connect to god as a spirit soul hmm? and uh, when uh, this out of all the scriptures bhagavad gita is the uh, most commented by many many scholars all over the world and it is most distributed lakhs and millions of copies are distributed all over the world and prabhupad one of his uh, goal was to flood the country for the our country flood the world with this spiritual knowledge and his disciples they sold this they distributed these books in millions till now millions of bhagavad gitas have been distributed in december month we have a marathon right all devotees they go and try to uh, distribute bhagavad gita and many times what response we get hamare ghar pe hai humko zarurat nahi hai ghar mein hai ek ghar mein hai but have you ever opened that bhagavad gita try to know what is written inside it is going to be actually very very helpful knowledge hmm? now we see physical balance mental balance emotional balance there are answer to all those things in bhagavad gita hmm? in for physical balance in bhagavad gita krishna says that one first krishna is describing what kind of food one should eat he is saying that one should uh, eat the kind of food which is in mode of goodness and what will it will do when you eat uh, food in mode of goodness what it will how it will help you he is saying that first it will increase duration of your life then it will purify your existence then it will give you lot of strength it will give you health happiness and satisfaction hmm? so krishna is telling eat this food in mode of goodness food in mode of goodness means vegetarian food not non vegetarian food hmm? the succulent food juicy food ha huh? all this food milk milk products they are all food in mode of goodness and when you consume them you get this effect what krishna is describing in bhagavad gita also krishna is telling he was telling arjuna that if you want to perfect your life o arjuna if you want to become yogi then it is not the path for one who eats too much one who eats too little or one who sleeps too much or one who sleeps too little means you have to have to have balance eating sleeping krishna is telling in bhagavad gita hmm? then what is telling that whatever you are one has to be regulated in your work in your eating in your sleeping and in your recreation when you can do this then you can mitigate all the material sufferings and pain ha huh? that means when you will do this your mind will 
be in such a position it will be able to take all kinds of difficulties it will be able to uh, tolerate all kinds of difficulties then we go move to mental platform now what krishna is telling for uh, balancing our mental platform let's see second chapter of bhagavad gita is very very uh, important hmm? there are many verses in that first krishna says that you are not this body you are the soul so in that that uh, verse number 2.13 he says dehi no smin yatha dehi koma ram yo vanavjara means what that as you are having this body this body is passing from your childhood from boyhood to youth and that same body is going to become old hmm? and the soul which is there is it passing through different different uh, stages and ultimately at the time of death it will leave your body means you are not this body because you are going to leave this body behind you are this soul which you are going to, who is going to go ahead then another knowledge about soul is giving in uh, this very nice verse vasanse jirnani yatha vihaya this is 2.22 bhagavad gita verse where krishna is telling arjuna as a person puts on new garments giving up the old ones soul similarly accepts new material bodies giving up the old and useless ones hmm? so whatever happens temporary whatever happens with us in the, our life it is temporary it will not stay for long and further uh, explanation is giving in verse number 2.14 krishna very clearly says that matra sparshantu konteya sitoshna sukha dukhada agama payena nistya tam sitikshasva bharata there krishna is saying krishna knows that you are going to get exposed to difficult situation in life he knows so here he is telling arjun what that just like non permanent appearance of happiness or happy, happiness and distress like he is telling this happiness and distress they are non permanent they are not going to stay forever sometime there will be distress sometime there will be happiness hmm? so he is comparing this happiness and distress to the appearance and disappearance of seasons winter and summer season summer season goes winter come when summer season is there you want winter when will winter will come ha huh? if you are in delhi you want to go for a holidays to simla suppose hmm? and it's many people go to chardham also delhi is scorching hot and when they reach badrinath it is freezing cold okay so when you are in delhi they think when i will reach badrinath when they are badrinath they will think when i will reach delhi hmm? so our mind is playing tricks with us like that so krishna is saying this happiness distress it will come and go come and go come and go so what we should do he is saying that one must know, learn how to tolerate them one must learn how to tolerate them krishna is telling arjun that you must know and then without getting disturbed that too hmm? and what is getting disturbed is your body is getting disturbed you have when you are in a miserable situation no my mind is getting disturbed huh? so this is wonderful example uh, krishna has explained to arjuna that what is the relationship of mind intelligence huh? and senses and ultimately soul so horses which you see they all are our senses our eyes our mouth huh? our ears various senses touch, touch sensation and everything then that person who is controlling the horses is our intelligence but in between intelligence and the senses is what mind that is the ropes with which that person is controlling the ropes huh so intelligence has to always control your mind now is it easy to control your mind what say i say no how much say no how much say yes everybody agrees huh so bhagavad gita 6.6 krishna says the same thing we have at least realized this verse of bhagavad gita huh? that for the one who has conquered the mind mind is best friend and for one who has failed to do so the mind will become your greatest enemy it will never allow you to live in peace your mind so arjuna is telling krishna this is mind is creating problem for me 
in 6.34 he is telling that this mind is restless it is obstinate means sunta hi nahi hai mera huh? it's turbulent means always making me disturb and it's very strong also i can't do anything i can't subdue it also so i think it is more difficult than controlling the wind now who is arjuna he is vayu putra right everybody knows recent mahabharat he is a vayu putra so he is he has control over wind but now he is telling uh, uh, krishna what that and he is friend of krishna still is telling this mind is more difficult to control than wind so what answer krishna gave krishna told him o oh son of kunti undoubtedly undoubtedly this is very difficult not easy i am not telling you to control this mind is easy it is very restless but it is possible to do so by suitable practice and by detachment then what suitable practice and detachment krishna is talking about hmm? what suitable practice then next chapter is telling perform devotional service always think of me become my devotee offer a or offer your homage unto me and in this way you will come back to me and when you will come back to me all your problems will solve so many many uh, scholars actually many leaders they have followed this bhagavad gita this is a statement given by our rashtrapita mohandas karamchand gandhi ha huh? he said that my life had been full of external tragedies and if they have not left any visible effect on me because it's i owe it to teachings of bhagavad gita he was strong follower of bhagavad gita hmm? so many many people followed bhagavad gita and and bhagavad gita one very very important most commonly uh, quoted verse is karmanye vadhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ha huh? that is a, and then what is the meaning you are supposed to perform your duty you are supposed to perform your duty how you are supposed to perform your duty fully but not expect attached not be attached to the results of your duty means whether you will, uh, you are uh, getting success at the end of it or whether you are getting failure or getting honor dishonor you should not be attached to that if you are able to perform your duty in this way then you will be perfect your life hmm? so one very very interesting story i heard his holiness radhanath swami was speaking he was quoting one story uh, he was saying that in america there is one famous story of a woman called uh, wilma ruda this lady in her uh, very very ch uh, young childhood around 6 7 years she was some syndrome her body uh, suffered and because of that syndrome her legs became totally sort of paralyzed and doctors gave the answer that she never gets strength in her legs and she will be never be able to put uh, her feet on the ground she will never do never be able to stand on her legs all the time she has to put herself in a wheelchair and move around okay so but you know how every child is she sees the other children and she says mama i want to walk very fast i want to walk uh, fast i want to run fast like those girls so mother said that um uh, see each everyone's ability one gets from god the mother mother was very very god conscious so very nicely she taught her child that one gets one's ability from god and if you persevere and do not be discouraged have faith then you will be successful so after some time uh, though she was medically hopeless case but she was able to stand on her legs and she started going to school then in school she participated in race in first race after she came out of her uh, sickness and guess what happened she lost the race and she was not just lost she was a last and she was last and people were laughing at her ridiculing her what are you doing here this is not the place for you like that but she appeared she took part in another race another race another race she never gave up so many races and many times she lost she lost the race many times but she had faith in god that i it is my duty to try my best and rest is to left to god okay and in 1960 she won three olympic medal medals in athletics 
it's amazing I, when i heard this story i thought this is amazing but she said that i have just tried it is god who has given me ability so she had this strong faith hmm? so similar thing krishna says in bhagavad gita same same verse what he says वर्शिप मी so if we are just going able to put this all this knowledge all this knowledge which is given in bhagavad gita just krishna is telling think of me always try to think of me that means what think of him is what think of him is do all the activities put god in center of your life first of all put god in center of your life make all your activities related to god hmm make your house a temple of god go make god center of your life and then do all the activities as a devotion to him and this should ideally start from childhood this knowledge should start from childhood then foundation will be very strong so many hours are coming up in mumbai they are, they have to work on the foundation not on the upper part or they have to work work more on the foundation hmm? so foundation is has to become strong if the foundation of the children we give them this knowledge of bhagavad gita in the childhood itself then they can amazing results they can give in their lives ha huh? so this bhagavad gita very very uh, usually people feel to go to religion means kabhi problem hota hai to mandir jane ka nahi to zarurat nahi hai this is a myth ha huh? they very unfortunate it is it is the opposite way around when you make religion center of your life base of your life principle of your life then you can take many many difficulties with this knowledge of bhagavad gita in very very wonderful way hmm? so this should start from childhood and the best way of connecting to god to become krishna conscious is easiest is to chant hare krishna to chant this mantra hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare Hmm? so best way uh, we may not may not be able to go every day to temple we may not have deities in our house we may not be able to worship him like making him clothes every day or making him wear jewelry do his abhishek every day but in kali yuga krishna has appeared in his name with all his energies whatever energy or whatever potency deity has same potency is is there in holy name okay so when we chant the holy name we connect to god and which this should be done how we should be done once a week two minutes in a day no it should be regular it has to be just like you you eat your regular food you eat regularly drink water ha huh? you regularly go here there like that like a medicine we have to take this holy name then it will show the effect okay so prabhupad said just chant hare krishna and be happy so all the knowledge essence sar of whole bhagavad gita is it just become surrender to god worship him chant his holy name and uh, you will be able to balance your life very nicely at the end of life you will live a fulfilled life so now uh, we are going to open we thank you so much for uh, be so attentive and nice we had little late today we started so uh, she want to start actually we this is a adhik mass and uh, we wanted to suggest all those girls who are interested this is a very very uh, auspicious month this is called purushottam month this is purushottam month so we had this idea of all those who are interested we wanted to just distribute a small mala so and all of us can together chant this on these beats together when when it is chanted together it has lot of energy lot of benefits are there huh? 
and especially when you chant in Purushottam month in the temple in front of deities, it is having amazing effect. Hmm? So this is a we just chant one round, fast distribute. She can all of you who are interested, just take it in your hand, and we will uh, chant this holy name. And it is recommended that this Hare Krishna mantra is recommended in, in this Kali Yuga. Hare and Krishna. Hara means energy of Lord and Krishna means Lord. Uh, so by chanting Hare Krishna, we are praying to God that please shower your mercy upon me. Please shower your mercy upon me and please engage me in your devotional service. That is the meaning of, simple meaning of Hare Krishna mantra. And Prabhupada, uh, very famous uh, speech of Prabhupada is there. He is saying that this is most easy thing to do. If you tell the child to sit in the lecture and uh, hear the lecture, he will not be able to do. But if you tell him to chant, very easily he can chant. Okay. Huh? And sometimes we have observed animals also. They, when uh, devotees chant, they participate, they just sit there and they listen. And we are, when we are chanting, we are not just benefiting ourselves, we are benefiting all everything in atmosphere all around us. Huh? So this is very, very important. In Kali Yuga, it has lot of, lot of potency. So we will chant this. Together we will chant. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Jai Shri Shri Radha Gupnath Ki. So thank you so much. From bottom of my heart, I am very grateful to you, thankful to you to participate, participate in our Chitna festival. And especially today in this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra. All those who are interested, they can take this bead with them. They can, these are free for you today in Purushottam March. You can take it with you uh, at your home. And many people feel that uh, what are, is there any regulation, strict niyam, palan karna hai kya, chanting ke vak. But Prabhupada said, Lord Chaitanya said, there are uh, no hard and fast rules for chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. You can chant it anywhere. You are traveling in train, you are traveling in the bus, you are walking on the road, you are sitting in temple, you are sitting at home. You can chant this mantra anywhere. Hmm? And anybody can chant. Not that only certain caste people can only chant, only Brahmanas can chant and Sudras cannot chant. Anybody can chant and it is meant for everyone's benefit. So please, I would request all of you to continue and give it a try. Give it a try. Uh, now I think how many days are remaining? Pushottam month. Five more days are remaining in Pushottam month. So I would just give you this suggestion. 
all those who have taken with interest this beads please chant at home one round you can chant two round three rounds see the effect just give it a trial if you have never chanted in your life just give it a trial ha huh? like a free sample try karo baad mein dekho what is a then you like you can continue don't like fine ha huh? so please continue to come to our chetna festival on regular basis continue to uh, encourage us and we are very thankful for you uh, to you for your wonderful attention we don't have any time for questions now we will be starting kirtan anybody who has question you can talk to me personally once we finish the kirtan uh kirtan is very powerful way of chanting the holy name because it's loudly chanted huh it has very powerful effect so all of you uh, please sing and dance in the kirtan and merry yourself huh have a nice time and after that there will be prasadam served for everybody downstairs she is having some more announcement